I think it really brought out that achiever in me. Getting to know people, it's not that hard and you can get like much more farther in life. Learn to trust new people easier, faster. It's something I can say gives me motivation to do better in the future. The Youth Development Network is in the business of creating life-changing experiences for young people to thrive and succeed. We do that, ironically enough, not by necessarily working with the young people, but by working with the leadership of organizations that interact with young people. And so whenever we do a camp, it's really our chance to show off the framework that we use to show off what it's like to create amazing supports and opportunities for the young people that we interact with and for them to cut and paste and take it back to their schools or their communities. This camp is all about student engagement through relationship building, through the research process, and through engaging adults and young people as part of change on their campus. As staff, we were slightly hesitant about middle and high school students putting the diverse age range together, you know, what would happen? And everything was great. It couldn't have been better. You know, the relationship building started on day one. We are in the lovely Santa Cruz Mountains at Happy Valley Campgrounds, and it's our first time using this campsite. It's been absolutely amazing. The weather has been awesome. Uh, the facilities have been awesome. And for so many young people, I couldn't think of a better place to have your first camp experience. Being away from Sacramento makes it easier for us to take our young people on a journey where they can really discover themselves in a safe way. We've given every young person their Strength Finders Assessment. And the Strength Finders Assessment is a way of them having a language to what makes them great, their natural ways of feeling, thinking, and behaving, and how do they use that to create positive change in their own lives and at school. Finding out all my strengths is one of the, the most amazing things I can feel. That Clifton Strengths Report, I will keep that with me like forever now. It's really about using their strengths to be the best version of who they can possibly be. We do something called the telling your story piece. And young people, for the first time in their lives, are telling their stories, but through the lens of their strengths. I heard in there things like, you know, when my parents divorced, what got me through that difficult time is that I have positivity. So I started surrounding myself with people who were positive and I started seeing the world as this is one thing that's going on in my life that's really hard, but I, I'm seeing all the positivity around me. They were telling their story, but they were matching it through their strengths. We call it naming your strengths and claiming your strengths and telling your story really brought that out. And then the ropes course was about aiming your strengths at succeeding in a particular goal. So how do you aim your strengths to do the scariest thing you've ever done in your life right now? My strengths are restorative, strategic, futuristic, and my favorite one is focus. Focus means a lot to me. Without focus, you aren't on the right track. You need focus so that you could have a successful future and be successful in life. My favorite activity so far was the ropes course. A lot of people had their trust in me to have their lives in my hands. And I was mainly focused on the person above me because I had their lives in my hands. For me, it's like, Getting over your fear, so I mean, I'm, I have a fear, a fear of heights, but for other people it's more than that, it's kind of like, you know, getting past obstacles in life. I feel confident to kind of achieve something today, so I think it'll probably be a real big step for me. It shows that other people can be leaders too and that everyone can work together. And there doesn't have to be one specific leader in one certain thing. There can be multiple ones just working towards the same goal. And then if everybody works together and it goes well, then you'll get it easily. It took a lot of courage, I think, actually. I've probably surpassed it. It was fun. I liked it a lot. The ropes course was huge because it really did bring team together and it showed that you can trust somebody else and that your life is valuable even though it's in somebody else's hands. You can value them and trust them to hold you safe. I was a little nervous, especially with just jumping off the platform. It was just it was a little nerve-wracking, just jumping. But I knew I could trust them, so I knew that they had my back. Knowing that people 
could count on me, could trust me, not just one person, but everybody, giving me props to like having their backs or making them feel safe while they're up there. It felt pretty good. It, it really has been a blast to see the relationships that have really gone to a new level between the teachers and their students. Our community of leaders knows that the adults here at camp are rooting for them and we are just as um, connected to their change as they are. I think what's happened on the adult side is that adults are really seeing young people as resources and they really took a step back. So instead of during the activities, they wouldn't be like, hey, young people, we need to do this, we need to do this. They would start asking like amazing questions. So like, guys, what do you think would be the best way of getting this done? And stepping back and letting the young people do what they do best come up with creative ideas to find solutions to whatever they were working on. So I would say that it's um, made it so that the relationship, it's more about seeing each other as resources to get things done. In this case, to improve our school communities and our climates. To have Twin Rivers and YDN team up, it's powerful. I mean, they need to develop their voice. They need to uh, develop social skills that allow them to work in a team, in a group. They need uh, confidence, they need to know their strengths and how to use those to hopefully help solve some of these problems. Not too many school districts get an opportunity like this to really take the good things that are bubbling up in the different schools and harness that and aim it and take their ideas to the next level. I think for Twin Rivers Unified School District, uh, they made a commitment because the board, the superintendent, and the district office really has made it one of their pillars. They really want to hear from young people in terms of the direction of the school district. And I applaud Twin Rivers Unified School District for doing that. It's not easy. They understand that this is going to be a journey, but if they don't give up, they're going to get to a place where it's just part of the common language and common approach of everything that this school district does. Last night's uh, campfire circle, that hit really hard to give them an opportunity to take something negative, something that someone told them they couldn't do or weren't able to do or would never do, and crumple that up and voice it and throw it and say the opposite, whew, that hits hard. There was this one girl who said exactly what I had on that paper. And she's like, I'm not this anymore, and she threw it on the fire. And that made me cry. Like, I cried so much, like, it was like seeing me 20 years ago and going through the same thing. It was, it was amazing. There's just so much positivity in this environment. It, it makes you really want to come back, you know, makes you not want to end it. I think so many young people are getting on this bus and they're so excited about making change in their school. And, you know, we're going to have about 10 schools making sure that young people have voice and choice. And I can go to sleep pretty good tonight knowing that that's taking place for this district. They're more powerful than they know. They're more powerful than they are told. And that power can make the world unfold.